We begin our tour outside Fordham's London Centre on the Clerkenwell Road. And the first place we come across is the International Magic Shop. And it's the only magic shop on the streets of London. All the others have vanished. And we have here, right next to Fordham's London Centre, the um, Italian Church of St. Peter's. And this is built in 1863. We're now walking down Hatton Garden. Hatton Garden is famous for its jewellery shops. Tucked down a side alley, not a lot of people know that there is a pub called the Mitre, which has been here since the 17th century. This part of London is peppered with pubs, and from the Bishop's Mitre it's not too far to my favourite pub called the Jerusalem Tavern. Since the 10th century there has been a market here in Smithfields. It's a meat market and it's still operating today. The great internationally known nightclub Fabric is right next to Smithfield Market. The Bishop of Ely's Palace took over this entire area and none of it remains except for the chapel. It's one of the oldest churches in England now in use for Roman Catholic worship which was re-established in 1879. So from the chapel of the Bishop of Ely's Palace built in 1291 we go to something much more modern and that's the Barbican Centre. This brutalist centre is filled with cultural amenities including a cinema, a concert hall, a theatre, a library and an art gallery. This gatehouse dates from 1504 and it's the last remnant of the Priory of Clerkenwell which was home to the Knights of St John and once the richest monastery in England. One of the great things about this part of London is its markets. Right opposite Fordham's London Centre is Leather Lane. There's been a market here for 400 years but it's now a thriving food market and if you enjoy falafel or vegan burritos it's the place to go for your lunch.